yesterday. What a pounding. Oh, I know. Even overnight, I was still hearing Nonstop. very heavy rain on my roof. I'm sure you were, too. It's dry now. Yes. And we're going to see And it improving. feels nice. It feels good. Yep. Well, if, if you think you like it now, just wait a couple mm. hours because it's going to be great You'll around be complaining here. it's cold, though, I know. by You're tomorrow. Who are you kidding? <laughs> around here pretty soon. Let's go ahead and take you right now to what's going on because we have to show you here the uh, Philippe a little bit because we still are going to see a few issues here until we get to that cold front. But so you can see here a lot of rain on that northeastern section. Otherwise, it's a very poorly disorganized storm. And yes, it is exiting. It's getting out of here and pulling out a lot of that moisture with it. But we still have some warnings here for the coastal waters. Tropical storm warnings just until 8 o'clock this morning. So 7, 17 now. So a little under 45 minutes left of those. You can see 45 mile per hour winds moving east northeast at 17 miles per hour. So it's picking up speed and it's getting out of here. And that's exactly what we want to see. But it's a very rough center, hard to even detect, roughly about 75 miles southwest of Miami. Here's the path it's going to take, moving straight off to the northeast. And you can see off the coast of the Carolinas becoming a post tropical cyclone as it's absorbed here with a cold front. So here's real time Doppler radar. And you can see a lot of that rain is long gone way east of Bimini. Look back off to the west, though. You see a few showers here. Well, this is actually associated with a cold front that's pushing through the region. So we have two things going on. Cooler air moving in from the northwest and Philippe moving out there to the east. As we widen out the spectrum, you can really see how large of a footprint that cold front has over the region on the east coast. This is the area of low pressure, bringing very heavy rain to a lot of the east coast. Now, cold front is going to pick up Philippe and send it up into the New England area. They already have storm warnings, flash flood watches in effect. Now watch as we get the cooler, drier air, folks up to the northeast are going to get hammered with that. Temperatures in the 30s in the middle part of the country, that cooler air is going to be moving its way here. So while we're sitting at the 70s right now, we'll be looking quite different by tonight. 80 degrees roughly today. Keep in mind that takes a bit for that cooler air to get down here. So although we'll be drying out, seeing humidity levels fall, it will still be warm. Gusts to about 25 to 35 miles per hour. We're going to keep that small craft advisory. Rough bay seas five to seven feet. But then look, overnight tonight, we'll get down to 55 degrees. It'll feel pretty different around here when you wake up in the morning and then likely get up to the 70s here by Monday. Beautiful again for Halloween, 60s, of course, overnight.